CO2 is coming off of the power column, making the power that runs this whole thing is um, bubbled in here. This is the food. So you take this is an amazing organism because it, it can grow, the cells can divide three times in a day. So if you have one gram and the uh, uh, first cell divisions, you get two grams, mm -hmm. and you get four grams and you get eight. So it's mm -hmm. two to the third, uh, right? So you're getting that um, increase. If this were your lawn, you'd be mowing it like three times a day. Uh -huh. So um, it's one of the most uh, efficient absorbers of carbon dioxide. And it takes raw materials like CO2 and sunlight and a few minerals and makes this biomass. Mm -hmm. So we pump the CO2 in here, we keep it circulating, and then when it gets ripe, <laughs> if we can't grow anymore, we'll actually see that in our graphs, mm -hmm. then we dump it. Mm -hmm. um, there's a computer controlled valves, and we harvest it into those flock tanks you saw below. Mm -hmm. And then the flock tanks, then the process keeps continuing. We capture the water, and we can leave here so we don't melt uh, okay. in the process. Okay. But uh, we can do one of these a day, and uh, that generates about 300 gallons of the finished product. Mm -hmm. so, The other thing that I wanted to point out is when you, when you slope the roof, the back roof of this, uh -huh. so that in the winter time the light, when it's over there, it reflects off the roof and goes into the other structure to give us a little more energy mm -hmm. as we need it. 